morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I don't know what's going on there, but good morning. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Let's make sure we're on the right one. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody this morning? Good morning, good morning. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Good morning. Okay. All right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Awesome, awesome. Y'all uh, forgive me, something's going on there. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's get this together. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yeah, that's Kent Jones. This year is my year. My year by Kent Jones. That's what we're doing this morning. That's what we're doing this morning. It's, uh, it just goes so well with what I believe the Lord has gave me for your inspiration and your motivation. Welcome to the Everyday Until Prayer Call and fast lives. Good morning, good morning. We got a little thunderstorms here, so it's a little dark outside. Uh, so we're trying to get y'all as much light as you can. Uh, good morning, good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Glad you're here this morning. Give God praise if you're glad to be here this morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Ah, uh, welcome to the Everyday Until uh, Prayer and Fast. We pray every morning. It's dynamic devotion. Uh, I'll have inspiration, which is found in the Word of God. I'll have your motivation, how to take that Word and apply it, but you are responsible for the application. Come on. Come on in and give God praise. As you come in this morning, let's praise Him this morning. Come on. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. How you doing this morning? Good morning. When you come in, we see people that we know, and we say hello, we say good morning, we tell you how much we love you, uh, we appreciate you, God has got you, this is the place to come, this is the place to be every morning, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time, this is what's happening, this is what we're doing, we're on the wall, we're not releasing the wall. Uh, one of my daughters in ministry says she plastered on the wall, we got in faith for one of our family members, uh, that is heart transplant will take uh, what we need we need God in more areas than just dealing with COVID. Am I right about it? Come on. This is a good morning. Good morning. Welcome in. Welcome in. Come on. Come on in. I got something for you this morning. Uh, we'll have dynamic devotion. The reason why we call it dynamic is because we will break open the word of God. You will have devotion and then you will have prayer and we will do it live. We will interact. Uh, if you're new to the call, you're new to the Facebook or the IG live, welcome. So glad that you're here this morning. Those of you that are a part of someone's watch party, I'm honored that you would even jump on and I'm sure that they are as well. We believe that the more of us that are praying, the power in the groups and the number of us praying and praying consistently because breakthrough is on the other side of the consistency. And to the degree that we remain consistent will be the degree that we experience the multiple breakthroughs. Come on, y'all. Give God glory for it if you're glad about it this morning. It's Tuesday morning. Come on. Give him praise for it. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. You got some time. Come on, people are coming in. Again, guys, y'all that are part of the tribe, y'all know what to do. Make sure you welcome them in. If you see somebody, welcome them in. Uh, make sure that you like and you share. All right, you like and you share. Uh, if you're doing a watch party, those of you that are in a watch party, make sure that you like and you share. Your host uh, will interact with you. Uh, even though I'm not interacting with you directly uh, there on your, on your watch, I am interacting with you. With you and they are as well. We love you. We're so glad that you're here. Uh, it's going to be a good morning this morning. Every morning is a good morning, right? Every morning. I uh, got a testimony about uh, one of our drivers. We got multiple truck drivers on here, guys. They are essential. They have to go from city to city, leaving their family days at a time, and then having to be careful when they come back home. Uh, guys, it's a really big deal. We're out here. We're out here in the midst of it, and we're going to get a victory out of it. But th this, this thing here says this year is your year. This year is it's still your year, y'all. Come on. Let's jam with it a little bit this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good morning. Welcome to the Everyday Until Prayer and Fast. We pray. We have our dynamic devotion, and then we fast. The reason why we fast is because we want to draw closer to the Father, and you draw closer to God. You are you're opened up to your spiritual senses when you fast, and so that's the key thing. All right. Come on. We got a few minutes. We got a few minutes. Folks are coming. Come on. 
All right, y'all, come on, greet them as they come in, y'all. Y'all know what to do. Y'all know what to do. Come on. Good morning, good morning. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's my year. Look at y'all. Good morning. Good morning, Brandon Price. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Come on, good morning, good morning. Welcome, IG. Come on, callers. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for being on. Good morning, good morning, y'all. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Good morning, good morning. Come on. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Come on, y'all. Got a few more minutes. A few more minutes. Make sure that you, you're, you're, when you're sending out your tags or when you're sending out your likes, that you're letting people know hey, how much uh, it means to you for them to be a part of the tribe in the morning. Where, where, where is Washington D.C.? I know you're on here, D.C. Where is D.C. at? Also. We're believing God for somebody to represent every state. We're believing for 50 people to be the chief intercessors for every one of the 50 states and all of the provinces. So it's going to be more than 50 people. Then eventually we want to have someone, uh, if we have to stay in this thing uh, uh, further, we want someone representing every state, interceding for every state and then every city. So when you come on, we want you to go ahead and post what city and state are you representing so that we can be praying and interceding all together at the same time and that we cover you your state. Uh, we cover your city. It's important. We're going to eventually get to your zip code. We want God to get the glory out of everything in every area and every way. It's a really big deal. This is a really, really authentic group and it's deaf. Come on. Northside McKinney. Uh, Furman. Miss Edna. Uh, it's, a, it's a thing of Understanding that the power of intercession is what Jesus is doing. Jesus is in heaven. Scripture says literally that he is sitting on the right hand of the Father making intercession for us. That's what his job is. Jesus is our chief intercessor. He is our high priest. The role of the high priest in biblical times was to intercede on behalf of the people. That was their role. It was a big deal to have communion, conversation, to intercede on behalf of others for God. You are most Jesus-like, not when you love everybody. You're most Jesus-like. Not when you're enduring persecution. You're most Jesus-like when you're interceding on behalf of someone else. Come on, y'all. This is a really, really powerful moment of revelation for you. Jesus ever liveth to make intercession for us. And so you're living now to make intercession for others. Welcome to the everyday until prayer and fast where you're going to get your dynamic devotion. I'm going to give you inspiration, the word of God. I'm going to give you motivation, how to apply that word. And you're responsible for the application. This morning, I am, I'm here this morning. I'm excited. This year is my year is what we're playing by Canton Jones. You say, Pastor D, when you look at the world today, when you look at this year, this year, look, I'm ready for 2021. Hey, don't forsake where you are. Everything works together for the good of the believer. If you believe that, give God praise for it. We're going to celebrate. We're going to make the enemy mad. We're going to celebrate the year. We're celebrating it right now. Come on. Give him glory for it. Give him praise for it, y'all. This year is my year. Believe that. It's my year. <laughs> Come on. Uh-huh. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. All right. Are y'all ready this morning? Call is y'all ready? IG, y'all ready? Let's go. It's time. 
our inspiration this morning, okay? Again, for those of you that are just joining the call or those of you that are here for the first time, welcome. We're honored that you're here. People on the wall, uh, um, what we say when we're on the wall is that in Jerusalem, when they awake, they immediately go early when they rise and they go to the Western Wall or the Wailing Wall, which is the back of the Holies of Holies when the temple was erected during Solomon's time period. Right now, it's uh, it's uh, um, manned by Muslims, uh, but uh, Jesus is coming back and the temple uh, will be taken back again. And the outer court, the inner court, and the holies of holies. The holies of holies is where the high priest would go in and intercede on behalf of the people and uh, and hear from God. And so they're believing that since they're on the back of it, that they're on the most holiest wall that there was in uh, the construction or erection of the temple. And so they pray there. They put names on the wall. They put prayer requests on the wall. And then they meditate on the word of God. They chew or eat on the word of God. That's meditation. Meditation is not the elimination of information, but it is the meditation on the word of God that is inside. It is the presence of someone, not the elimination of something. All right. So we want to make sure that we are, we stay and maintain on the wall because we're believing that God is going to do it. We're on the wall. Give God praise if you know you're on the wall. All right. And you've been on the wall. Hear me? Or, or you like to keep it. You're plastered on the wall. Uh, I'm telling you, we are honored that you're here. So welcome to the wall. Welcome to the tribe. We love you. We're glad that you're here. Uh, make sure that you, you be consistent. We always say, this is what our call is about. Breakthrough is on the other side of consistency. Remain consistent and you will see breakthroughs in the areas that you believe in God for. And we are of those that understand that God is in control. It doesn't matter what the outcome is. We're going to give God praise because the outcome is not going to change until we change. We are not changing. We're staying faithful. We're going to remain faithful. We're going to keep on praying until we see what we've been praying for. We're going to keep on believing until we see what we've been believing for. But we're not going to give the devil any credit. We're not going to sit in any kind of anger and or being uh, upset or offense that will prevent us from getting to where we want to be in the Father. And so this morning, I have a word of inspiration for you that's coming out of Proverbs 24, Proverbs 24 and verse 10. And yes, it's another one of my favorite passages of scriptures. You always say you, that's your favorite passage of scripture because it is. I got a lot of favorite ones. Uh, this one is a favorite for a lot of reasons. This one's favorite uh, because here, uh, Pastor Parker really explained this one to me years ago. Uh, he is my wise. He is my, uh, he's my pop. He's my dad. I'm telling you, uh, this is one of those great ones. And this one, I want you to get uh, Proverbs 24 and 10. It says, if you faint in, if you faint in the day of adversity, if you faint in the day of adversity, if you get weary and weak in the day of adversity, your strength is small. All right, I'm going to read that without any kind of uh, um, uh, uh, breakdowns. If you faint in your day of adversity, your strength is small. If you faint in the day of adversity, you faint in your day. If you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. The first thing that I want to bring to you is that it starts out with an if. In Proverbs, uh, many of the word, many of the verses are clustered together because this is the book of poems. This is the book of wisdom. Uh, these books of prophecy in this whole area, Psalm and Proverbs are by themselves, but Proverbs is particularly the book of wisdom. And so it has uh, typically uh, multiple passages connected together. Well, this 10 in Proverbs uh, uh, 24 verse 10 is by itself. It says, starts out with if you, so if you, this is, this is critical for you to capture, meaning that you are in control of the decision based on whatever is going to happen next. You are in control. You will be presented with options. You are in control and you will be presented with options. So if you is an indication that you are going to have the option in this moment, it says if you faint in the day of adversity, the day meaning that the season, uh, the year, uh, whatever it is, the time, uh, the generation, you don't know uh, what it is or how long you've been facing something, how long you've been dealing with it. That's your day of adversity. I don't know what you're facing. I don't know how long you've been facing things. I don't even know uh, if you understand that adversity is not there to destroy you, but to strengthen you. It's there to strengthen, not to destroy you, but to strengthen you, to give you a resolve. And you're still standing, no matter how long the adversity has been, it still wasn't able to destroy you. It still wasn't able to kill you. It still wasn't able to take you out. No matter how frustrating it's been, no matter how weak you feel like you are in the matter, you are actually strong because you have been enduring this adversity for a while. The day, the season, the year. So this year may have presented some, uh, some adversity, but that's why we're celebrating that this year, 
year is your year. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter the adversity. You have a choice. You have been presented with an option in your day of adversity. If you, in the day of adversity, if you faint, get weary, if you fall out, don't lose heart. Don't let your marbles go bananas. Stand firm because this year is your year. If you faint in your day of adversity, then the next one is, uh, number one, you will be presented with options. Number two, day of adversity, time. It's just going to be some time. And then the final one is strength is small. This strength is small. Get this small is anxious. This strength is supposed to be stable, which means this. It says that if you give up, if you choose to get, this is what it's saying. If you choose to get up because uh, give up because things are tough, then you will become unstable and anxious. That's what that says. If you choose to give up your where your strength lies and give up on your confidence in God, if you choose to give up just because things get tough, then you are weak and unstable, or you are unstable and anxious. You are double-minded. You have too many. The option that you chose was the, the choice to be afraid, the choice to throw in the towel, the choice to give up, the choice to, fix, to, to eliminate the God factor that God is working on your behalf. You chose, you chose opposite. Well, that's not us. We're declaring that this year is our year regardless of what the year looks like to other people. We're choosing that this year is our year. This may be an adverse situation, but our strength is found in God. The joy of the Lord is our strength. So we're going to joy in the Lord. Somebody give the Lord praise. Come on. This year is your year. Give him glory for y'all. Come on. You know what it is. Come on. Yeah. This year is our year. Come on, y'all. Um, before I pray, I need you to get this in your spirit. You're not going to choose the other route. You're going to choose to make sure that the Lord is your strength, that the Lord is your joy, that the Lord's got your best interest at heart, that the Lord is going to make it happen for y'all. This year is going to be your year. <laughs> well, come on. What's my application, Pastor? What's my application? All right. Well, listen, that's part of your application, that exhortation right there. That was part of your application. But here's your application for today. Trust God. That's it. Your application today is to trust God in everything. Trust God. This may not look like you trust God. Uh, this is not what I expect. Trust God. Whatever it is, trust God. Have this resolve in your mind. I don't care what it looks like. God has my best interest at heart and all things are working together for my good. What's your application today? Trust God. What's your application today? Trust God. Is this year your year? Are you deciding that this year is your year regardless of what the year looks like so far? This year is your year. And even in that, because of the way that my filter works, I'm going to see God in that. I'm going to see good in that. Well, what about my loved one that passed away? We're going to see good in that. Death has no sting. We're going to see good in that. They're going on to be with the Lord. We're going to see good in that. We are those that have a hope. Well, what about those that are sick and those that are struggling. We're going to see the good in that. What's the good in that? They're still here. Somebody else just had to celebrate the home going to someone. You get to celebrate that they're still here. But regardless of whether we're here in the flesh or whether we're there with him in the spirit, we already win. We get the victory. Therefore, this year can't be a loss for you. Therefore, this can't be a problem for you because our hope is found on nothing less but Jesus Christ. That's where our hope is. He owns the cat on a thousand hill. Our hope comes from the Lord. We gotta know that. So that's where we focus and celebrate. Enemy, we just took the sting out of everything you tried to do. We gonna trust God. That's your app, y'all. We gonna trust God. Remember what I tell you. Make sure I'm giving you the inspiration. You got the motivation. And, and well, I got the motivation. You're responsible for the application. Come on, let's give God praise for it. Let's pray this morning. Y'all ready to pray? Father, in Jesus' name, we come before you this morning giving you praise and glory. We magnify your name. We lift you high. You're wonderful. You're worthy to be praised. We thank you so much for all that you have done for us, God, all that you will do for us. We magnify you. All magnify the Lord is what your word says. And so we make you bigger, bigger in every sense of the word, Father, bigger in everything that it means, bigger in our lives, bigger in our situation, bigger in our adversity, bigger than anything, God, that we have, will ever face. You are bigger. You can handle
handle it. You are in power, God. You sit on your throne. You're making, Father God, things work together for our good. You're making things, God, work out in our best interest. God, you are a miracle worker. You're suspending time and entering in so that we will experience your power. The joy of the Lord is our strength. We thank you for your joy, God. Your joy, your peace, your comfort, your kindness, your faithfulness, your love, your fruit, God. May we reproduce your fruit in the earth, Lord. We give you praise. Lord, we call on you this morning. We magnify you this morning. God, we declare that you will be our joy. And because you are our joy, God, we walk around the earth, God. We will represent you in the earth. We will showcase your glory in the earth. We will be your living billboards in the name of the Lord Jesus, that God is good, that God is great, and he's greatly to be praised, that our God, he's the king of all kings, that our God, he's the Lord of all lords, our God, he's the sovereign, all-powerful one, our God, he's the omnipresent, he's everywhere, he's omniscient, our God has it, he has the ability, and there is nothing that is too hard for our God, there's nothing too hard for our God, let me say it again, there's nothing too hard for our God, for without faith it's impossible to please him, with man things are impossible, but with our God all things are possible, therefore now faith is the substance of things that are hoped for, we're utilizing our now faith, faith to bring things into the now, faith, faith that we have God in you, our confidence in you, our belief in you, our sure foundation, our sure cornerstone, everything that we built on, even in the day of adversity, when our strength is small, when our strength is unstable, when our strength is weak, it's made perfect, your strength is made perfect in our weak moments, so we give you glory this morning, anybody praising God with me this morning, we love you, we magnify you, you're worthy to be praised, you God are to be feared above all gods, you're honorable, you're majestic God, you're wonderful, everything that you do is marvelous in our sight, we magnify you this morning, hallelujah, glory to be to God, we thank you God, we honor you Lord, we make heavy your words, God, your words have we hidden in our heart, we make heavy your words God, clean out our heart God, purge our hearts, wash it God, but out of the abundance of our heart, our mouth will speak, and we believe, therefore we speak, we declare, and we magnify you, Lord, this morning, we choose to believe that this year is our year, we choose to believe that this day is our day, we choose to believe that this moment by moment is our moment, we choose to believe that all things are going to work together for our good, we choose to believe, God, that you are working things out before we ever get there, so we thank you for doors that are opening right now, we thank you for contracts that are being signed and be being declared ours in Jesus' name. We thank you for covering now. We thank you for the hands of doctors. We thank you for the hands of physicians. We thank you for those, Father God, that are don donating in every area and every capacity, God. Those that right now, Lord, we give you praise and honor for you working on the behalf of the believer, working on behalf of those, your children. The whole earth is groaning, waiting for the manifestations of the sons and daughters of God. Well, we're here in the name of the Lord Jesus. We're here and we're declaring that our God, they don't understand Understand, but we understand whom, whom we serve. We have a God that's never failing. We have a God that's never faltering. We have a God that will never leave us nor forsake us. And that God says that he will be our power. So God, we give you glory. Same power that raised Jesus from the dead is the same power that you've given us to trample upon the scorpion, the serpent, and all the powers of darkness. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, rulers of wickedness and high places. We get the victory because God, you always live to make sure that we are triumphant, to make sure that we have the victory. Your word says that the battle is not ours, but it belongs to you. So the fight will come, but we will win. Your word says that the enemy shall come in against us in one way, but he gonna flee seven different ways. We give you praise this morning. Come on. If you want to give God praise this morning in this moment, come on, give him glory for it because he's a good God. He's been good all the while. God, we thank you that you've been nice. Your goodness and mercy follows us. Your unmerited grace, your favor upon us, it goes before us and surrounds us as a shield. We love you, Lord. You have our back. You have our rear guard. We give you glory this morning. We magnify you. We confess, God, that we understand that your word says that there's no good thing in us but you, Lord God. Your word says that you will cleanse us and that you will make us and wash us white as snow. Your word says that you will purge our consciousness for dead, dead, from dead works and that if a righteous man will sin seven times daily, God, then we come before you not feeling better or bigger than anybody else, but we need your forgiveness and we ask that you forgive us in every area. There's some things, God, that we actually even want to forget. Can you purge our consciousness and help us to forget them as well? When 
you forgive us, your word says that you don't remember it anymore. Therefore, if we're in your image and in your likeness, then we have the ability to forget as well. So in the name of the Lord Jesus, we declare that we shall forget some things, that we shall eliminate some things, that we won't hold on to them, and that we bind the works of the enemy when he would try to send a line thought. The helmet of salvation covers our mind, covers our head. Therefore, it got to get through our salvation to get to us, and we bind the empty holes. We bind the access that the enemy has to our thoughts. We bring every thought captive unto Jesus Christ, and we lay it at your feet. Your word says we can cast our cares before you. So, Lord, there are cares, there are situations, there are issues, there are all kinds of things, God, that we want to lay at your feet now. We want to release it now. Forgive us, God, for trying to be Christ again and carry burdens again. You said that your yoke is easy and your burden is light. So we enter into this time of rest with you. We enter into this time of peace with you. We enter into this moment, God, with the understanding that you are in control and that you have our best interests at heart. And so we cast our cares before you. We ask God that you forgive us for our sins. We tell you your word. We speak homologia in agreement with your word. You said, God, that you are faithful and just, that you would cleanse and that you would forgive. You're faithful and just, that you will forgive and cast it into the sea as far as the east is from the west, that you, Lord God, will clean us and make us white as snow and present us faultless before your righteous throne. God, it is our desire. Help us to produce the fruit of the Spirit in our lives so that others will be able to come and know you in a more deeper and intimate way. We need you. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise right now. Thank you for forgiving us. If you're glad that God forgave you and that God is going to help you forget some things, give him praise. This is your praise moment right here. This is your thanksgiving moment, right? Come on. Let's praise him. This is your moment right here. Come on. Give him praise. Give him praise this morning. Give him praise this morning. Hallelujah. This is your praise moment right here, y'all. This is your praise moment. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for being so good. Thank you, God, for being so kind. Thank you, God, for being so patient, God. Thank you for being patient with us, God. When we were unwilling to come to you, when we were unrighteous in our moment, your word says that you sent your son, Jesus, to die for us and that your Holy Spirit would draw us, God. While we were in the middle of all of our all of our mess, you pulled us out. You drew us out. Thank you for being patient with us. Thank you, Lord God. You had us on your hook, but we were on an unwilling fish. But you still, God, you knew how to draw us in. You took your time. You were patient with us. Thank you, Lord. Let patience have its perfect work so that we'll be complete and not lacking anything. We give you glory, God, that you have already exampled that with us, God. When we didn't want to come, you still came to us. When we wasn't right, God, you made us righteous. When we weren't clean, God, when we were dirty, you made us clean. We give you praise this morning. Thank you, oh God, for being good when we weren't. Thank you, oh God, for being kind when we didn't deserve it. Thank you, oh God, for all that you have done. Thank you what you will do, God. But more importantly, right now, thank you for what you're doing right now. Thank you for your daily bread. Thank you for your daily care and concern. Thank you for your daily deliverance, God. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Some of us need daily deliverance. There are situations that we're facing, and we need your help on a regular basis, Lord. Your word says that we won't faint in this day of adversity. The enemy is trying to destroy us by the mind. I declare now in Jesus' name that minds be clear, minds be purged, that your focus is on Jesus and not on anything else. That your focus is on the Father and not anything else. That your focus is on what God can do and what his ability is because he is yes and he is amen. He is willing and he is able. He is good and he is kind. He is benevolent and he is father. He is king and he is mighty. He is righteous and there is none that he will let go. He loves you and we give you praise for it right now. Come on, give him praise for it in the name of the Lord Jesus. Come on, y'all. This is our supplication time. Father, we ask in Jesus' mighty name that you bless those that have responsibility to heal and to help those in the earth and realm, that they will, as they pray and utilize medicine, that they will also, God, lay hands in the spirit. And your word says that when we lay hands upon the sick, they shall recover cover. Meet every need. Answer every prayer. In the name of the Lord Jesus, those that are on the deathbed, we declare, God, that you will raise them up. Those that are on the sickbed, we declare that you will make them well, that they will have full and speedy recoveries in the name of the Lord Jesus, that they won't have any residue, that there will not be in the name of the Lord Jesus. There won't be side effects that impact them for the rest of their days, but this will be a testimony that impacts others for the rest of their days. We thank you, Lord God, that not only are you dealing with corona and the COVID virus, but God, every kind of 
sickness and disease, every issue physical in the name of the Lord Jesus, every issue mental in the name of the Lord Jesus, every issue, Father, we declare that you will meet it, you will exceed it, and that you will bless God in the name of the Lord Jesus. It is our petition and our prayer, God, that you give wisdom to decision makers, that you give wisdom to researchers, that you open up their minds, God, give them witty ideas and inventions, create for them, God, the ability, Lord. If you're not going to work the miracle, well, let's say it differently, God. If you decide that you're going to work in the earthen realm through the dominion power that you've given mankind, we're asking God in Jesus' name, if it's not a miracle, Lord, we're asking that you will provide for them the ability to therapeutically treat and deal so that people will be able to be healed and restored, or that you would give a vaccine, that you would give a cure in the name of the Lord Jesus to eradicate, because we're not praying, God, that you just reduce it. We're praying that you eliminate and eradicate it in every area and in every way. Every sickness and disease they brought to you and your word says that you heal them all. So we have an expectation that our God is able to heal. Jesus' stripes were so that we would be healed. We receive our healing now. And those that are on this call, those that are on this line, right now, I lay hands on you symbolically and I declare in Jesus' mighty name that you shall be healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Everything that you know and everything that is unknown. Those of you that I lay hands on symbolically that are interceding on behalf of loved ones, I declare that you shall be able to speak and see a change and there shall be healing and restoration. There shall be reconciliation of relationships now in the name of the Lord Jesus, that you're not going to use this time as an excuse to exit a relationship, but you will use this time to enter in deeper into intimacy and that God will reconcile mother and daughter, father and son, husband and wife, friend to friend in the name of the Lord Jesus. We come against the wicked schemes of the enemy that would try to tell us that we are alone all by ourselves. We come against the spirit of loneliness. We declare that you got to go back to the pit of hell from which you come from. We declare we come against the spirit of depression and anxiety. We come against it now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every wicked infirmity in the name of the Lord Jesus that would try to come and enter into the earth during this time of adversity. We understand that our strength is made perfect in God because when we are weak, he makes his strength strong in us. So we give you glory for it now in the name of the Lord Jesus. I bind the enemy now that would try to cause you to become over fatigued in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Some are feeling tired and you making decisions while you're tired. I declare that you won't make any decisions while you're tired, while you're hungry, while you're angry, while you're lonely. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you shall move and God will be your God. He shall be a lamp unto your feet, a light unto your path. Holy Spirit leading God into all truth. Glory to God. Something's happening right now. I'm declaring on this line right now, you are in the middle of frustration. Your frustration period has lasted longer than you thought and you're being real snappy with people and you can't figure it out. You think that you need to get out and go and be free. The Lord has already set you free. Whom the Son set free is free indeed. You just got to walk in that freedom and tell the enemy, no, decide every time frustration would try to rush upon you that you would declare that the Lord is working on your behalf and you know that all this is going to work together. You give smiles versus frown. You give hugs versus pushes away in your household in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when you go out because the presence of God is going to be on you so strong, even in a mass, people are going to see your smile and want to know who your God is. I declare it in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody give him thanks this morning. You're in a financial situation. You're saying, man, listen, this thing ain't working out together for my good. This thing don't seem to be coming together. I promise you that everything that you're willing to give to God, that the word of the Lord says that you shall not lose nothing, houses, mothers, lands, businesses, cars, whatever, you will not lose anything that the Lord will not give back to you in a hundred fold and a multiplied measure. You're going to get the full measure back. Whatever it is you feel like you lost or and losing, God's going to give it back to you in a multiplied measure. Glory to God. Every seed that you sow, I hear the Lord saying that seeds have been sown on behalf of having a new breakthrough and God is going to honor every seed sown, even seeds that you sowed before this time ever showed up. You're about to reap the benefits of seeds that you sown. Seeds of finance, seeds of love, seeds of compassion, seeds of time. Even 
even in times where you felt like that you were being treated wrong and you had to humble yourself, the Lord is going to repay you in a hundredfold measure for the humility that you displayed because he will exalt the humble. God is going to raise you up and lift you up. If you receive that this morning, give him praise for it. It's working for your good. It's working on your behalf. Lord, we thank you. We give you praise this morning. Come on, somebody give him glory this morning. He's been good. He's been good. Come on, in the name of the Lord Jesus. God's going to open up your, he's going to open up your mindset as it pertains to your business. He's going to open up your mindset. You are so used to doing business the way that you've always done business. Now God is going to give you a new way to do business. Trust him in the name of the Lord Jesus. Don't worry about having a new job. God's going to give you a better job, better, not new, better jobs in Jesus name. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on. That's it. Y'all come on. Give him glory for it. It's the every day until prayer and faith. We've been on the wall every day and we're here. We love you. Honored that you are even here. God bless you. We meet every morning at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. We're going to get inspiration, the word of God. We're going to get motivation, how to apply this thing. And then you're responsible for the application. It's your dynamic devotion and prayer. And we do it together. Some are on the, on the watch parties. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for joining. It's a big deal to me that you're here, but it's an even bigger deal for everybody on the wall. Because we love you. We're interceding for every state, every country, every continent. Yes, but we need you to represent. We love you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Call us. I appreciate y'all. Y'all are so... And listen, Mr... You on the on the on the road there, my truck driver. You think that I didn't know that you were on there? I'm glad that you're there. God bless you. I'm telling you, I need you to stay in the fight. I love you, all of y'all. Keep it going. And the rest of you callers, y'all are faithful, boy. I tell you, we're gonna have you here every morning. Meet you back here tomorrow at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. Be blessed. All right. Listen, IG. Come on, IG. Y'all, y'all in this thing. What? Well, listen. Hey, you already know. You already know what it is. What is it? It's my year. This is your year. Declare it today. I dare you to put a post out and say, this year is my year. I don't care if you tag or anybody or not. I want you to declare it in your own life. All right? Y'all have a great, great day. We'll meet you back here tomorrow for the Everyday Until uh, Prayer and Fast. All right? 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. Get up. Get up. Let's go. <laughs> All right, y'all. Hey, who over there? Facebook. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Don't, don't you let this go. Don't you let this go. This is for real now. Are you ready for it? God's got your best interest at heart. <laughs> but you already knew that. You already knew that. It's one thing to know it. It's another thing to walk in it. So you got to walk in this thing. How do you walk in it? See, that's the big deal. Most people understand it, but walking in it is the problem. Here's the way that you walk in it. You don't actually have to know the end result of everything that you participate in. Some things you just start walking towards and let God work out the details as you go. In other words, you don't need all of the stuff now. God will give you more as you go than when you start. You just got to start. So whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing, Cedric Robertson, you need to go ahead and just start and let God do the rest. Whatever you got to do, Shalina, just start. Let God do the rest. Whatever you got to do, Cheryl, just start. Let God do the rest. Anitra, just start. Let God do the rest. Many times, we don't start because we don't know what the end result is going to be like. Guess what? It's a beautiful it's a beautiful adventure. And God wants to glorify himself in you because you love him. Hey, this year is your year. But if you don't go get it, it'll just be another year. This year is your year. I love y'all, Facebook. I did that for y'all. Got to go holler. Meet your... That tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. Make sure y'all let somebody know. Be blessed.